Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I'm doing a 16 inch uh, round wooden medallion. But before I start this creation, I'm gonna show you some of the finished 12 inch round medallions. And these are all in the Etsy shop now. They turned out absolutely beautiful. You can put them on you know, your wall, you can use them as placemats, and the backs are finished as well. So that is one. Here's another one. The blues. Ah! And I always separate them with a covering until they're sold. Here's another blue. It's like a turquoise. -y yeah, it's a turquoise. -y. Okay, beautiful. This is turquoise -y and fuchsias and light blues and aquas and yellows and it's got every color in it you can imagine. And it can be used as wall art or place mats. Oh, here, okay, look at that one. Wow. That's got a lot of beautiful colors. Right. And as oh, you can, can see be behind me. Yeah, I put them up on my holders, and you can get these holders at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, and it's just, you know, that type that of one holder. Up Let's see that up close. This? Yeah. That's a beauty, too. Wow. They're so all I mean, resined, correct? They're all resined, ready to go. They will not warp. They are all um, painted, varnished, varnished on the back, painted. The whole front is resined. Um, they're good to go. You can go inside, outside with these, whatever fancy your, or floats your fancy, whatever, <laughs> whatever suits your fancy. There we go. We'll get it right yet. You can put anything you want. You can do whatever you want with it. So, okay. So like I said, um, I'm doing the 16 inch round medallion, wooden medallion today. And my base color is quinacridone nickel azo gold today. And all I do is mix this into my regular house paint from Walmart. It's color place, ready to use white, parentheses, satin, nothing in it, no silicone, no glue, no water, nothing, nothing, nothing except my acrylic fluid in that. Um, so what I'm doing, my colors today, I decided to do the browns and the golds and the light pinks, a little darker pink. I have a copper here. So we're gonna see how that turns out. The first one is Chestnut Brown, and this is by um, Color Art Primary Elements. All my pigments are Color Art Primary Elements. So this is Chestnut Brown. I'll go through the um, Primary Elements first. Then I have the Harvest Soul with the Gold Sparkle. I have Autumn Leaf, and I have Gold Sparkle in my Van Dyke Brown by Amsterdam. So my colors today, this is Rose Gold by your, Arteza. Your paints. Or paints, these yeah. are my paints. Uh, Rose Gold by Arteza. This is Rose by Amsterdam. This is Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. This is Rose by Arteza. This is Copper and Gold by or Artist Loft and Arteza. This is Pearl Rose, and I just incorporate a little bit of Interference Gold pigment in it. Then I have Pearl Rose and Rose Quartz by Arteza, and then I have Arteza Gold. That's it. And then, like I said, my base is going to be this Nickel Gold. My paint with the fluid. Yeah, this should be a, a real pretty combination, I think. Well, we'll see, Phil. You never know. I'm, I'm giving it good mojo. Well, between your mojo and my <laughs> abracadabra, we ought to be pretty good, hopefully. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. I mean, between the two of us, we can't go wrong. Well, we could, but not likely. This is like spreading ice cream or it's like spreading frosting i could just lick this <laughs> oh oh doesn't it look good 
It looks like a looks like, like a, a latte or a what uh, or something. <gasps> a co a light coffee drink or something. <gasps> it looks so darn good. Oh man. I bet you're gonna to have to go have one of your Starbucks after this because this is what it looks like. That. I gotta have a Starbucks. Looks like your vanilla Starbucks drink, Frappuccino. That's what I'm thinking. It's a Frappuccino, Phil. Yum. Now okay. Kathy is using a dozen pigments and paints Ooh. today, and she does have a special recipe, a video 248. I will have a link directly to that in the description box and a pop-up on the screen. And that'll tell you exactly the recipe she uses to mix her pigments and paints for bloom pours and drizzle pours. And this is uh, going to be a drizzle pour. It's, yep, it's going to be the drizzle, the swipe, the wreck, and the spin. And I'm going to cause a mishmash. That's right. So thank you, thank you for this mishmash shirt. I love it. One of my subscribers sent this to me. Okay, so this is the new, this is a new pigment for me. I have not used it before. It's called Chestnut Brown by Primary Element. That's a nice, deep, beautiful brown. Yeah, it's a chestnut brown. So yeah. I thought it would look nice with the gold base. Exactly. And I haven't done a, a brown and a gold or... I haven't done, actually, I have not done a gold, brown, and a pink. No, that's true. So I thought, hmm, brown and pink is always very, very pretty together. Ah, oh, why not give it an old college try? So I hope everybody is having a wonderful day today. Phil and I are having a pretty good day. He had to go to Leslie's pool and get some chemicals for our pool. They had a big sale. So we went out today and that was our big outing. Our big outing is usually to the post office drive through That's true. That's what we do. Okay, we're, you know, we're always so excited when we get a bill in the mail because we get to go to the post office <laughs> yeah. and mail a bill. Oh, brother. Because I won't let Phil do all of it online because, I mean, we need to get out. So, but yeah, I mean, imagine getting excited when you get a bill in the mail just so you can go to the post office. Well, I guess we could just go drive through with nothing yeah if we exactly. wanted to and the dog she gets excited okay so this color is the rose gold so we're going to see how that yeah, looks yeah these uh you're doing this on a 16 inch wooden medallion we call it correct and uh it really is nice for wall art as kathy mentioned and displaying on those racks yeah, I, um, they're just like uh, to put pictures on or, yeah. you know, any of your art. And these 16-inch uh, ones that Kathy is doing right now, well, I think would be really neat for us to put a little centerpiece, a little flower centerpiece on, perhaps. Mm-hmm. You know, you can put anything. Don't have to have flowers. It could be, no, it could be anything. something your grandkids make you or your kids make you or to display it. Um, it could be really anything. And behind me, if Phil wants to show you, you can see that I have, I think there's like three, there's five of them oh, um, that way. That's not behind you. <laughs> no, behind you. That won't um, show because of the sunlight. Oh, it won't show. No. Oh, yeah, because those are all the medallions that are waiting to be resined. I just um, got those all painted today, the well, backs of them. Speaking of behind you, if you can see the pillow on the chair. Uh, that is from Redbubble. And that is an image, one of Kathy's art images. And that is a company that will put art images on a wide variety of products. And Kathy has over 30 of her images out there. And they really look cool on skirts and pants and t-shirts, backpacks, phone. Phone. phone covers and so forth, puzzles. And uh, th as I said, that's a pillow we ordered from them with one of her images. And it's really nice because it unzips. You can wash it. It's a really nice quality. So and I, I also so, got a mask. And you got, yeah, Kathy got a mask, yes. And uh, other people have purchased her images off there on, on masks and uh, hoodies and so forth. So it's just kind of a fun thing to go on because you can pick an image and see it on 30 different products. 
And the and the prices are very reasonable. Yeah, they really are. Now I'm putting the um, this is the copper. Okay. Gold. It's copper and gold mixed together. Yeah, I've been pretty busy lately. Um, I have some coasters here that I've done that I have to uh, resin. And of course, your your pigments and paints. You've got those all organized, and you got a lot of them, which is pretty cool because you got a lot to choose from. Yes, and then I'm doing a new project, and if it turns out, I will show everybody what it will be. So I got that in the making. Kathy, I just got a lot of things going on here, I'll tell you. It uh, keeps me busy. Kathy's channel, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller, does have over 300 videos on it. A uh, wide variety of videos on all different techniques of paint pouring. So they were a lot of fun for us to make, and check those out. Yeah, and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. We'd love to have you join our family, and if you are a subscriber, um, thank you very much, and, and we love all of you. And um, in our comments, you know, people leave comments. Well, Phil and I always invite people to join our channel, and if, you know, if you're already signed up for a subscription to my channel, um, sorry that I'm asking you again, because I, I just, out of habit, want to invite everybody to uh, join us because we have a lot of fun here. You never know what we're gonna do. This color is Pearl Rose, and I come up with a lot of different uh, concoctions. So I'm not the normal person, I guess, that just goes with a few colors. I'm a very colorful person. In my artwork, in my real life, I'm not a colorful person. My house is very colorful, but when I dress, I'm usually in black. No. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary Element Pigments, and you can get a very nice discount from them. Also, she is a an affiliate of KS Resin and Arteza Paints, and there are some direct links to their products in our description box, and you can get some really nice savings if you're looking for or need some supplies. Yeah, this color is um, the Autumn Leaf, which is really pretty. I love this color. Yeah, this is a pigment. This is a primary yeah, element okay. pigment. All right. But it, it's really pretty. It adds really a lot of zapparoo to your uh, creations. And for those of you who are, are new to the channel, this is exactly what we mean by the drizzle part of the drizzle swipe, wreck, and spin. Kathy is simply drizzling the paint all over the canvas and you, you don't want a lot of any one color in any one area. Uh, the object is to try to get all the different colors all over the top of the canvas, or in this case, the wooden medallion. And you'll see the reason why a little later in the technique. And this is Van Dyke Brown with uh, some, I believe, gold sparkle that I threw in it. Okay. Just to give it a little pizzazz -a -roo. The last step of this technique, of course, is spinning, and you will lose some of the paint at the edges, but you still want to go all the way out to the edges as close as possible because uh, you don't want to have to overspin to get your paint to the edges. Okay, this is my mishmash. Mishmash. We've achieved mishmash here. So now we are going to use my favorite black cell. Oh, I didn't even have my cards out, Phil. <laughs> and Kathy's oh. cell activator is simply Amsterdam black paint and Floetrol. And if you want to do different colored activators, you simply change the paint color. Yep. You still use it with Floetrol. Yes, you do. But for the projects that Kathy does when she uses 10, 11, 12 colors, uh, she has found that the black cell activator accentuates the cells uh, the best because it's pretty hard to pick a color that won't other color that won't disappear a lot into the other color. Yeah, if you only use a couple of colors, I mean, you can just use yeah. your white because a yeah. lot of people say, "Please use white." Well, yeah. I've tried it and it just well, it just doesn't show up like the black when you use all these. And what I, why I'm bending down like this is because I can see the bubbles, so I'm just popping the bubbles before I go over it because sometimes. Um, they don't 
pop and then your cell activator will miss them and you don't want to miss anything you want to have as many cells as possible and as you can see Kathy uses a puppy pool and a cake spinner in her projects and we do have a video of how she set up her pool and her spinner for this technique that's I don't remember the number of the video but I will have a direct link to that video in the description box well it's pretty hard to remember all the videos when you have over 300 of them <laughs> that's true it could probably be like you know trying to learn the alphabet <laughs> I'll I think you, I've got that down pat. I'll tell you, the, the biggest challenge I had was, I'll tell you, in kindergarten was learning how, how to spell my name. Oh, my gosh. It was so hard. I, I needed two pieces of paper. Well, they don't know your, what name I you're know. talking my, about. My name was, Kat, and I had to go by Kathleen. And the only one that called me that was my mom. So when the teachers would say Kathleen, it would be like, Oh boy, what I do? How do, what I do now? Well, that Got wasn't trouble. the hard part of your name. So the hard part was Kathleen Steinsdorfer. So I mean, that was a handle. I was the only one that needed two pieces of paper because, <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you make your letters so big when you're first learning. You do, and I'm thinking I'm never, I'm never going to be able to do this, but I got through it. As you can see. The cell activator is activating the cells. That's exactly what you're looking to do, is have a whole bunch of cells of the different colors that were drizzled on the base. I think this... And um, Kathy does clean her card after every swipe. I think this pink and uh, the browns and the gold is going to be really pretty. I do too. I'm glad I decided to... And these are simply... That regular old playing cards and Kathy puts the cell activator on approximately half of the one side before she swipes. Now what's yeah. funny about Show this me. okay well but what's funny about this is Phil said to me I'm upstairs here getting my paints ready and he said hey Kath you know what you know what you haven't done in a while I go no he goes you haven't done any of the golds and the browns and stuff and when he said that, I'm thinking, oh, my God. I go, Phil, you're not going to believe what I have out ready to do. He goes, what? I go, I have all the golds and the browns, and I incorporate pink. He goes, now, that is weird. We have been living together way too much. <laughs> That's true. Because now we know what the other one's even going to say. And it's true. I, I haven't done these colors in a, a long time. And it's not yeah. that I don't like them. I mean, I... I love them. I like, I like the, the pinks with the browns and the golds. I do too. Look how instantaneously it creates those cells. Yes, it does. Which is awesome. But you don't want to make your activator uh, real far in advance if you don't have to. A couple days is okay, but you don't want to make it like a week in advance. Because I, I think it just takes a little bit of the pizzazz out of it. Yes. Um, so I try to use them within two days. And because this is a large 16 inch round, as you can see, Kathy only does about halfway across on each swipe. And the reason for that is, if you go too long of a swipe, you're gonna run out of cell activator and you're not gonna get any cells. You're just going to basically smush the paint that was on top, the drizzled paints. Right. So. Although it does take a little bit of time to swipe over the whole project when they're large like this, you do have to take your time and do multiple swipes to get the best results. And you just want to do it lightly. You don't have to press into the paint. Some people, you know, say, oh, I'm losing all my cells and just do it lightly. Well, yeah, there is definitely a proper technique to do it and it just takes practice it does you know and everybody says oh you make it look so easy well I've been doing this for so long that I probably do make it look easy well you do almost but, one a day if right. not more right so 
Um, you've learned from your mistakes like everybody does. Yeah, if I'm not doing these, I'm doing my coasters, so. And then I'm doing canvases, so I mean, it's like every day I'm doing this. And you can do it too. It just takes practice. Just, you know, it's only paint. Well, it's, it's so much fun to actually see the reaction you get from the colors you've put on. Yeah, I love it. I mean, it's li literally different every time. There's your phone yeah. again, Phil. <laughs> okay, so. Now, I'm just filling in my rivers because okay. I don't like the rivers. There's a couple of areas that Kathy wants to fix. And when uh, she calls them rivers, it's an area that either she missed a little bit on the first swipe or the cell activator didn't take. Yeah, it's, I didn't get close see, enough. Right there, okay. There's but one as you right can here. see, when she goes over it, it's gone. It's gone, and the cells form. Yeah, right away, so. Now, the only thing you have to remember when you do that is to, again, swipe very lightly. And don't use a large card. Just try to swipe pretty much over the area you want to fix. Because if you have a really nice area with cells, you don't want to re-swipe over that and wreck the cells. No, you don't. We're almost done here with this part. And then we can move on to the wrecking. And somebody asked me, one of uh, my subscribers, she goes, how do you... Um, how do you do your swipe? What what do you think of? What do you do? She asked me how your swipe. Or not my swipe, my wreck. And the only thing I told her was whatever pops in my mind, that just tells me what I'm gonna do for my wrecking. So that's how I do my wrecking. I just whatever pops into my mind is how I do it. I don't have any certain way. Um yeah, what, that what I do Kathy's it. talking about is the next step. And you, if you're new to this, you might not quite understand what she's talking about, wrecking. So you'll see in a minute after she puts her cell activator back in the cup, keep it fresh. And I just use a regular tile to put mine on because you can wash this off real easy and you can reuse it. You know, you don't have to use a new tile every time. You just can use the same one. Okay, so... Now we're going to be on to okay, the you've, wrecking. You've, you've done the drizzle, you've done the swipe. Now the wrecking part is done with a stick. In your and case, I do this with a skewer. A skewer. You can use a popsicle stick or any other oh, type of stick. Oh, you can use stick. a comb. A comb, yes. Anything you want to and use. And what you're going to do is drag that through the paint, and that's called wrecking. And what that, that is does my is it creates nice, wispy, frilly, flowery lines through the paints. And you can, you know, do it, do it to your liking because it's it's fun. Right. There's no uh, way you have to do it. It's just whatever your artistic mind decides you want is. Fine. Yeah, that's what I told you know one of the uh, subscribers. You just, my mind just works in circles here, well, so it's it doesn't really matter what you do. It's it's your creation. Right. You know, nice. if somebody doesn't like it, oh well, it's your creation. So here are the wrecking lines that Kathy just did with that pointy stick, and that brings up some of the base paint and swirls some of the drizzle paints into very cool patterns. Okay, so now we're gonna do the old spin a -roo, but first I have to do my abracadabra. So, let's go back on the canvas. Abracadabra, show me what you got, baby. But first I gotta pop this little bubble. So I can see it popped up right there. And you don't want that. If you see any of them, do it before you uh, spin. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, some of the paint did fly off. It's supposed to. And that's to. not a problem. Yes, this is supposed to do that because you don't want too much paint left on the canvas. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, is this pretty. 
Is this a nice fall? Oh. Look at the fall colors on here. Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. And I mean beautiful. Are you going to spin it again? Just a little, not much. You know, my left side just <laughs> doesn't. But I don't want to lose too much right. because it's really pretty. Just enough to go the opposite way. Let's get a little more paint off. Oh, this is this is stunning. This is absolutely look, beautiful. Look at all the cells. They retain their shapes. Oh, this is so pretty. The all the different colors that Kathy drizzled on the canvas are showing. Yeah, you know, there's the pinks and the and the browns and the golds and oh wow over those darker browns. They're, we have the chestnut too, browns. So that's right, the chestnut. I mean, the um pigment of well, I like the rose gold that came oh, yeah, through. Right. The Harvest Soul is beautiful. The Pearl Rose is really pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm really glad that I incorporated that rose, the rose colors in it because it just sets it off enough That's... to make it really pretty. Mm -hmm. So, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Um, oh, before I forget, I like how I had the gold base. Well, that's right, the, the gold base, base that's gonna really, show through too, yes. Really is uh, showing through. Yes, that's Instead gold. of just white, the gold base really is pretty with this. Yeah, that really complements the drizzle colors. It really does. So please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. If you have, thank you very much. Um, go to our Etsy shop because we have a lot of new things in there. Things meaning, our 12 inch wood medallions because Phil always goes things. They don't know what things are. Things, I just have a habit of saying things. So maybe I'll put my own self in there. I'm a thing. <laughs> so anyways, everybody, if you like what we do, please leave a comment, um, good or bad. I, I can take it. So, but I usually have mostly 99% all positive comments. Let your friends know about our channel, please. Yeah, please tell your friends, share this. Um, I'd love for them to be a subscriber. We're trying to get as many subscribers as we can because we love all of you. And um, every day it's something new. You never know what it's gonna be. So until the next time, thank you for joining us. Stay healthy, stay well, and 